Hey there everyone, GameFox here, and welcome back to Amnesia The Dark Descent. Uh, I, I'm literally just picking up where I left off. We, uh, we have a lantern. Ooh, look at the spider web. That's actually really neat. Um, and we're still hearing footsteps. That's not a good sign. Okay, what's going on? Alexander, is it inside the castle? In a manner of speaking, come, bring the lamp. Oh, okay. Refinery, Apparently this lamp is my friend. I don't believe I have. Is it connected to the... Oh, I didn't realize I could move. What did you call it? The inner sanctum. Ah, uh, okay, so that's where I'm trying to go. Chamber, Daniel. And it lies well beyond the refinery. In fact, it lies beneath the very stone of Bredenburg. Oh, I don't want to go in there! Nope! <laughs> okay! Uh... What is this? I don't think I can do anything with this yet. Hold on, we gotta... How did I get to that? Why? Diaries? No diaries available yet. Uh, notes. Daniel's note to self. Mem mementos! Okay. Some of... Some sort of organic tissue blocks the path to the refinery. Can it be dissolved? Okay. Well, uh... That's a no! No, 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 no! All right, my thoughts are that I can probably make some sort of acidic concoction because I saw where I found the note to self. Uh, aha! Where I saw the note to self, there was um, like potion vials and things, ugh, the cockroaches, things like that everywhere. So I can't imagine why that wouldn't be a possibility. Here we go, more oil. How full is my lamp? Oh, it was almost empty. Oh! Okay, well, I almost went through the whole... I, well, I went through all my oil. What's this? Okay! Whoa. <laughs> Squish. Squish. <laughs> I'm gonna take this new fancy chair. Why can't I rotate it? Just, just swing it, swing it around wildly. Ugh, I dropped it in the spider web. This place is open. Maybe I can go this way. Hmm. I'm gonna go down the stairs in just a laboratory. Traveling to Dover meant going through Canterbury. He made sure to pay a visit to the sense of guilt connected with neglect of family. Huh. Okay. Well, at least we've made it somewhere else. No, 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 no! Who's there? Who's there? That's disturbing. That looks like it just recently fell. I don't like the fact that I have so few tinder boxes. Hey, barrels! Get out of my way. Throw these at, at anything that comes near me. <laughs> these are really lightweight boxes. Someone's coming. What? What do you mean someone's coming? I don't like this idea. Um. I just. Well, okay, what happened? What's going on? There should be more Kubrat. Let me see, let me see. And one part aqua force. Okay, everything's shaking so much that I couldn't really even focus on. Why is everything shaking? Okay, so there was a. What is this? Oh, good lord. This is my third attempt to produce an artificial vitae. The former compounds lack the potency I needed, but I sense I'm close. Calamine and orpiment are given are a given, and the cuprite binds them well. This time I will attempt aqua regia instead of aqua fortis in a hope that it will produce even more solution. The experiment was unsuccessful. The solution was highly is highly acid and, and proves impractical to put any 
use except as a detergent. Organic tissue reacts especially violently to the solution and should be handled with great care. I might be able to use the recipe, but I'm losing hope that I will find an alchemic solution to my predicament. Okay, so that's the recipe I need. I don't like the fact that everything's shaking, though. This makes me think that something bad's going to come in here and come grab me any second now. Some sort of, let's see. Evidence in the laboratory has revealed that combining four chemicals can create a powerful acid. Okay. I don't know what's going on. What is this? Who's there? I don't think there's anything I can do. I don't think there's anywhere I can go. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? My sanity is fine. Oh good, a tinderbox! You can open all the drawers individually. I can open this door too. Ooh, what's this? Oh, okay, we got a memory. One day I will return. If it wasn't for the thought of you, my love, I wouldn't be able to go on. When I find myself doing terrible things, I take comfort in you. As long as I'm able to think of you and long for a life together, I know I'm better than the others. I weep for them. They lust for power without restraint, where I only crave fair judgment and safe return. The hell is that? Okay, it did. Oh, gotcha. Just crouch here. Is there something coming? Okay, everything's shaking, but I don't know why. Ooh, tinderbox. I hear something very bad, and I don't like it. Okay, what's this? The lack of a chimney to properly vent the fumes from my most recent experiments has taken its toll on many of my less stable ingredients in storage. Some seem unaffected, but many are stained by the fumes and will be difficult to salvage. I shall do what I can to move them to the wine cellar. Great! So none of what I need is in here anyway. Oh! Chemistry pot. A pot that contains all sorts of mixture. Oh. I don't know... I don't- I honestly don't know what I'm doing or where I'm going. I guess it's fine. Like, I guess nothing is chasing me yet! I was wrong! Okay, so wine cellar. Maybe this way. I don't- there's like screaming and- and a big pile of nope. The door slammed shut behind him and he knew that he would never again see the old tailor at Berkeley Square. Another lone soul in London seemed appropriate somehow. I don't think that these have anything to do with anything. Okay. Well. <gasps> I just heard some- like I heard a woman scream, no, get away from me. That's great! It's locked, and it will not open without a key. Great! So is that something else I needed to look for down- like, down the other way? I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna say a key would be kept in a bedroom of some sort, and you'd go up the stairs to get to a bedroom. Can I rip these off? It won't budge. Okay. At least I'm kind of making progress, I think. I hope. Here's another downstairs. I don't know where that would lead to, though. Archives! Wait, so is this where we came from? Ooh, 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 ooh. No, no, no. <laughs> Go away, cockroaches. It's crazy that you can literally search every drawer. You can literally search everything. 16th of May, 1839. The unflinching African sun has continued to plague our expedition, making it impossible to dig until dusk. How Professor Herbert managed to find the location in these vast plains of nothingness remains a mystery to me. When I asked him about the tomb again, 
He told me about the legend of Tin Hanan, the mother of us all. Hm. An interesting story in its own right, but I can't help feeling there's more. Isn't Late there always? Evening, we uncovered a passage beneath the dunes leading to a sand-covered stone structure. The professor was confident it was the tomb we sought and ordered the others to clear the way late into the dark, cold night. Tomorrow, I shall lead the men into the ancient structure, hoping to reach the burial chamber. No matter what the professor is keeping from me, the dig should yield something interesting to take back to London and the British Museum. Woo! Gonna be rich! Gonna be wealthy! Gonna be sucked into a horrible sense of amnesia! I don't like the fact that this door is off the, uh, off the hinges there. Shutting doors seems like a marvelous idea. I don't know if anything can enter when I shut the doors, though. Doesn't look like there's anything in there. Alright, chair, fling out of the way. Aha, tinderbox. Fun. Ah, we've got another uh, note here, though. Wilhelm's contract. I hereby offer my full attention and services to Alexander Baron of Brennenburg. This contract will reign for a total of three years and my freedom shall return to me. In addition, Alexander Baron of Brennenburg is to recommend my services at the Prussian Royal Court and within sanctum and within the sanctum of the Order of the Black Eagle. May no man break the seal, Wilhelm, House of Gerich. Huh. So he had his own little Igor? I'm not sure. Leave that open. Studium. Alright. So far so good. Nothing nothing terrible yet. Anything in the drawers. Shirts! Oh good. I can change if I need to. Too bad there aren't any pants, because I'm probably going to need those. It's 17th of May, 1839. My hands tremble as I write. I feel a need to document my tribulation, for I fear that my memory will fail me if I linger. Today, I took some men and ventured into the dark, ancient passage we uncovered. Our torches burned faintly in the murky air as we slowly made our way underground. The men were superstitious. And fearful. Wouldn't you be? They argued loudly, and I felt their strange language getting to me. I mustered huh. my strength and yelled English. at them to continue down the slopes and broken steps. The crudely carved passage confused me. It looked much older than the fourth century structure we had expected. Huh. The twisting path emerged into a great antechamber. The walls were lined with statues unlike any I'd ever seen. Despite their unearthly quality, I felt a strange familiarity toward them. That's never a good sign. Me still. At the far end of the chamber, a great slab of stone sealed off whatever lay ahead. I gave the order to raise it, and as I pushed through the narrow space, the heavy stone suddenly dropped, sealing me inside. That's not good. I was trapped. Okay, so he got sealed inside this ancient chamber. That's my oil doing. This burns so quick. Like, I don't know if it's necessary for me to have it on all the time. Just kind of when I'm afraid I'm going to lose my sanity. Oh, is there a torch or a candle? Yep. Here we go. Is there another one? No? Okay. There's this. I can light this. What's with the music? Oh, that's bizarre. Here we go. Give this a lot of light. There's a... Uh... Aha! Oil in a tinderbox. Chair. Ooh, hey, you know... Th there's also tinderboxes hidden inside the, uh... The stoves. That's... Pick it up! Thank you. Is there any way I can open these? I feel like I sh I should be able to. Hello? 
Anyone here? Won't open, it's locked. That's good. The Histora Loci is what? Mementos. The door leading to the local history room is locked. Is there another entrance? Probably. Okay. Oh, I can use a tinderbox to light extra lanterns. Okay, yes, I know. It's dark. Calm down. What is this? Oh, that leads to a different hallway. This is bizarre. Can I play the piano? <gasps> yeah! No, I'm gonna take that as a big no! There's more me weird music. Um... That's not a good sign, and the blood is still dripping! That was my last tinderbox. Okay, here's some more lamp oil. Did more rocks fall in here? Oh, what do we get? Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Stop falling, stop falling. No! Get back up. Okay, hide under the desk. Do that, hide. Okay. Pounding the unforgiving stone wall for what seemed like an eternity, I realized it was hopeless. I was trapped. I That's not good. To the ground, gasping for air, trying to focus. That's when I saw a faint blue shimmer. Oh, my that's the light. Body was heavy to carry, but I managed to push myself toward the enchanting light. Yep, that would be the light. You're going towards the light. You're dead. Gotta go. Okay, thanks. Bye. Hope to never see you again. Oh, wait, I can actually play. I thought it was a I thought it was a cutscene. Oh. I can try to turn to look back, but I can't. Enclosed in dark nothingness. I felt like it pulls at you. I'm not touching the joystick. Light. Is this blue fire? I reached out, closing it in my hands. Oh good, that's smart. A faint glow escaped my fingers and began to spark brightly and spirit me away. Where? Alien memories of spiraling towers, endless deserts, and impossible geometry. The next thing I can remember is the grating sound of stone being lifted. The voices of the Arabs pulling me to safety. And grasped firmly in my hands was the broken pieces of a most peculiar relic. Oh, so that must have been the last piece of the Algeria diary. Um, okay, well, that's good to know. I don't really want to waste my tinder boxes when I don't have to. Yes, I understand. It's hard to see. You're getting scared. Wah! You guys, he said something about helping me out. Would you please? So that gives you more backstory, but that doesn't really... That doesn't really help you with your main objective, I guess. I do not like the constant sound of footsteps! Someone's playing the piano. Someone's playing that piano. Or is it this piano? Oh. Okie dokie. What if I... Aha! I was right. Fragile, but not breakable by hand. So what if I took something heavy? Oh! Okay, I can use the left trigger to throw things. That makes a little bit more sense. Oh, what are we doing now? You have to be swift when you activate the first one. You hear that? If it stops, you'll have to start over. What? Isn't all this a bit excessive? You can never be too careful, then. There's blood all over the floor. I don't like this at all. We just I kinda wanna save the tinderboxes if I can. 
only light like the really necessary parts. Like this one. Yeah, now we can see pretty well. What's in here? Can I can I use something to break that? Oh, there's boxes in here. I probably could have used a box. Hey, yeah, I can. Ooh, that's a really cool mechanic. Local folklore. Outstat it to Titibla. And Brennenberg Castle, 1801. Another region rich with lore, Alstrad, deep within the East Prussian woods. For centuries, there have been stones surrounding the hamlet and its neighbor, Castle Brennenberg. The quiet forest-clad mountains dressed with scattered lakes is as picturesque as it can be. Albeit the area is haunted by the dark. Ask any local and you will hear proof of widespread superstition. All travelers should indulge themselves in such conversations since it will certainly serve an exciting entertainment. All of them have their own twists on the tale, but there are some motifs that keep reappearing. The gatherers, the story reaches all the way back to the time of 30 years of 30 years war. It is said that the soldiers who abandoned their duty got lost in the cold dark woods and were forever damned to roam the grounds. Their bodies wrought with their tainted souls have left them disfigured and empty of essence. Many have cited them over the years and described them as horrid revenants. They move silently through the woods, shying away from any beholder. They are called gatherers as they seem to follow some ambition to steal living creatures. It is their prey which can be heard struggling inside a damp burlap sack dragged behind them which reveal their presence. What dark scheme do they follow? The vis A visit undone. Henrik Cornelius Agrippa, Agrippa the well-known erudite, visited Alstad at the start of the 16th century. He resided in the local inn for a fortnight as he took as he looked for remnants of kingdoms past. During his stay, all the prominent members of society paid notice and he mentioned in many records of the time. One day he went to investigate a burrow in the northwestern glades only to be never seen again. Henrik is known to have passed away in Grenoble some 10 years later. He dismissed the notion of ever visiting us Alstad, which makes you wonder what really happened. Who was this mysterious man who visited the sleepy hamlet in the woods that happened to him? The immortal baron. The baron of Brennenberg lives a reclusive life with his family at his castle nearby. Alstad, and like most those of noble birth, rumors are inherited alongside with the title. Researching the history reveals little before the castle was consumed by fire in the late 16th century. It was rebuilt by Alexander, a nobleman from the Rhineslands, claiming the role as protector of the Prussian state. Alexander helped the region to flourish and remained popular throughout his presumed lifetime. The family has always been secretive when it comes to lineage and heritage, therefore the birth and death of Alexander and his offspring has never been fully recorded. This has fed the idea that the Baron is in fact the one and the same who came from the West over 300 years ago, lived through the time of occupation, and joined the coveted order of the Black Eagle along with the great leaders of this country. What? So we're helping an immortal man? Why does he need help? I'm not a fan of that. It's locked, it won't open. Do I need to find another key for it? I'm gonna take a quick peek around. If I can't find anything, I will let you know. Oh, I got a flashback or something when I walked over here. The castle is old and hasn't been tended to for centuries. When the shadow arrives, it won't take long until things start falling apart. Which hmm. is fine time anyway. Let's do what we can. There isn't much to be done about the wars. We should reinforce weak structures. The ground will tremble and there's a risk everything will cave in on us. Especially downstairs. Here, here, and there. Let's get the servants working on it. Okay, did he hire me for something? Is this book important? Anybody want it? Let me just plunk it on the shelf there. It's so bizarre that you can- Oh! I hear a- I hear a clicking noise, like a chain. Oh, here's another one. Oh, maybe there's two more on the other side? Oh, there's this one. Oh! Wait a minute. Oh, you have to do them all in sequential order because that's what they were talking about when you first came in this room. Ah, there we go. Oh, that makes a lot more sense. Because when you first walk into that room, you can hear somebody talking about having to, uh, aha, key. Wines, oh!
Are we good? I think we're good. Okay, well, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and leave this video here. This ran a little bit longer than I thought it was going to, so I'm not actually sure how long this video is going to be. Um, and I don't know what... I This is literally back-to-back -back from the last one, so I'm not sure what the best uh, time frame for uh, videos is. However, if you have any suggestions, feel free to let me know. I'd love to hear from you. If you think that I should do longer or shorter um, than about 20 minutes, I'd, I'd like to know. Uh, and hopefully we won't get eaten by a giant monster. Can I just, like, get out of the window, please? <laughs> Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, feel free to leave a comment, leave a like. I'd certainly appreciate it because it lets me know how I'm doing. Don't forget to subscribe for more fun content. And other than that, you guys take luck and care. Have a wonderful day.